and it's over. It is over. Adashev and Jeffrey Thin. Fight! Both men seemingly chomping at the bit to get after each other. Here we go. Scheduled for three rounds at 135 pounds. And both guys are going to be pressure fighters. Ken talks about his hands being one of his best weapons. Whereas Zaruk Adeshev, you're going to see him mix stances a lot. He likes to come forward. Both guys have that KO mentality built in. Zaruk Adeshev in the white gloves. Jeffrey Thin. Oh, it slipped there. Slip, slip, slip. Jeffrey Thin representing Dominican Republic, but currently what? fighting out of Danbury, Connecticut. I would imagine he's crossed paths with UFC fighter Glover Teixeira, who also fights out of Dan Barry. Stop! Beginning Can't of turn. a big night Can't for us here. Fight. Glory 55, New York. This is the second of three prelims. Hope you're enjoying on either our Glory YouTube page or Facebook page. Adeshev caught him with a right coming in. Getting a little wild here. Yeah, they're mid-range fighting right now. Very dangerous. I like the way Adeshev's coming over with his punches. Woken 10 up and the both pressure fighters liking their boxing over their low kicks. Have we seen a low kick yet? Maybe one mixed in. There's Adeshev mixing in a knee. Adeshev says he loves to press the fight, work both sides, left and right. Yeah, you see it outside of his circle. He creates his space, and then he kind of moves circular, laterally, and then he comes in with a different stance. So, for 10, he has no idea what stance Adeshev's coming into. It takes many years of training to develop both sides equally like that. Stop! Break! Watch your head. Fight! Stop holding, stop holding, fight out, fight out! Jeffrey Dan born in the Bronx, just got caught with a couple shots and eats a right hand and now he's on the back foot. Yeah, Look that's it. the first time he took a step back. Seems like he only knows one way going forward, looks very uncomfortable going back. Now he's trying to mix in some kicks, maybe faint with the kick and then come with the hands. Spinning high kick and the left hook puts him down. Two, Jeffrey three, then flat on his four, back. Yeah, and five, he just put his head off center six, line and threw that overhand seven. left. And it's over. It is over. Chris Wagner, the referee, does not give him the full 10 count and stops this contest. What a knockout win on a big stage for Zaruk Adeshev. Yeah, you couldn't set up that finish any better with that spinning hook kick. Here it is, he comes around perfectly timed, right around the defense, just enough to clip, take his equilibrium off, and then here's this overhand left, dips his head off to the side, and click, click, boom. Right on the jaw, the pit bull strikes at Madison Square Garden, a highlight reel knockout. Here's another look at that sequence. Yeah, just spin, and I just love how he came over with that overhand left. Put all his weight behind it, his shoulder, his legs, that's how you put power behind all your punches. And hey, this is the kind of fighter Glory loves to see. Kind of like a Zugari type of fighter. Yeah, comes forward, really aggressive, likes the knockout. And again, this is his third time on a Glory undercard, so I'm sure he's got the attention of uh, talent scouts. And he won his other two fights on the undercard with broken hand. He had a broken hand in both those fights. Hopefully he didn't suffer an injury here tonight. But he did get a great knockout. One final look at the first round KO for Adeshev. Yeah, a lot of good pressure from 10, but Adeshev created his space, found the room to spin, and then found the left overhand. Good night, 10. Representing Uzbekistan, says his favorite thing to do is to hang out with his family and his daughter, and you know they are proud of him right now.